arc. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Magical Oted Shale. <coughs> it's a relatively new game. It came out the start of um, August, about August seventh, I think. And it's supposed to be short. It's a free game, and it there are three and a half routes, I think. I have no idea. But and 11, 11 illustrations. So it's supposed to be short and cutesy and sweet. <laughs> so here we go. I already love it so much. Look at it. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the choices in the game don't matter except for the route selection. You can go back in the text by scrolling up. Well, okay. Enjoy the game. There's a skip feature that's good for replay value. Hello, everyone! I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, actually. I'll do something generic. Um, <clears throat> hello, everyone. Are you getting enough sleep? I sure hope you are. Though, knowing you, you probably aren't. If you don't feel like sleeping, how about a story to pass the time? I have one already. This story really happened in a universe far away from yours and mine. Well, that actually goes for all stories. And lucky you, this one ends happily for once. Alright then. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Shiel in a kingdom called Amarine. Shiel was smart, earnest, and wanted to learn all about her world. However, her father did not allow her to leave the home kingdom, not even once in her 18 years of life. She grew up the... If without that, that hmm, ah, pardon. <clears throat> she grew up with the company of the people within the kingdom and her many books and about the outside world. She always hoped to see the world with her own eyes one day. Huh. I even wrote up a detailed plan and travel guide. Still rejected. Gosh darn it. And the king really yelled at me this time. I guess he's tired of hearing me ask. Uh, <clears throat> uh, male voice. I gotta think of a good one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me, but I do agree that it was a bit much of him. And just then... Your father passed by the hallway. father left without looking at you. Sheesh, his presence never changes. Are you alright, princess? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Florin. Or Florine. I think it's Florin. It's just Florin. I see. Or, <clears throat> I, I see. <clears throat> the king doesn't seem to be given in even after all this time. I wonder if it would have been different if my mom was still alive. But I guess I wouldn't know. She was gone before I could remember what she was like. The king isn't ever going to let me out of Am 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 Amarine. I'm not a kid anymore. Or well, I still have a lot to learn, but that's why I want to go. Don't worry, I know what you mean. There are plenty of adventurers who are your age or younger. I don't know why the king insists on keeping you in the kingdom. Even if you are the princess and it's for your safety, this is a bit much. Well, I'm glad I have at least you on my side. All members of our royal family have a personal knight that they grew up with. I'm lucky to have Florin as mine. He's like, he's, he's a few years younger than me and has been with me for as long as I can freaking remember, which is a long freaking time. Florin worries a lot and is kind of cold towards others, but he's always been nice to me for some reason. Well, since this isn't working, there's only one thing left to do and I'm prepared to do it. One thing? Princess, you don't mean... Petricide. I don't know what petricide is, but that doesn't sound, that does sound good. No, no, I wouldn't dream of doing that. Hold on, let me look up petricide real quick. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
I don't get out a lot. Petricide meaning... The killing of one's father. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh my. No. No. I would never dream of doing that. Uh, oh, I see. My apologies for mentioning murder. It, it's something else. I don't think anyone's listening right now, but... Hold on. Let me whisper it to you. What? what, what, what? Uh, uh, okay, alright. Flora and I seem a little uncomfortable when I get close to him, even though we've always been together. I don't blame him for for it or anything, but I wonder why. Maybe he doesn't like me or something. Ha 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 ha. You step closer to Florin and cup your hand hands at his ear, whispering your plan to him. <laughs> I know a secret exit from the castle that leads out of Amarang. It's not in the hidden blueprints or any texts of the castle either. I'm the only one who knows about it. I've checked it a few times, and there aren't any guards around there. I've decided I'm gonna run away tonight. Woo! What? Are you... are you freaking serious? I am! I'm all packed up and ready anyway. I... I see. Are you sure about this? I am. I've always been thinking about it as a last resort. I know it won't be the most pleasant trip, so you don't have to follow me if you don't want to, but you're gonna anyways, so I mean... No, no, I'll, I'll go anywhere if you want me to, princess. Really? I'm happy to hear that, but I hope I'm not forcing you or anything. Uh, not at all. I was just a bit surprised. It's quite the invest investment and might be a foolhardy last resort, but... Hey, are you coming or not? <laughs> I am. Alright then. Thank you, Florin. Or Florine. Florine. Okay, I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I was hoping you'd come with me. I feel a lot better if you're with me like and like always. No, it's nothing. I, I'm your knight after all. It wouldn't do for somebody to kill you while you're gone. In any case, I should get prepared. It won't take long. Okay, I'll be waiting here then. For some reason. Florin leaves. I can't believe I'm really gonna do it. But it's better than staying here forever. <coughs> I wanna know more about the world. They're things that books can't teach you, after all. Just then, a familiar face comes by. <sighs> I have to come up with a voice for this one, too. <coughs> <coughs> Do my best slash worst um, Russian impression. Princess. Oh, hi, hi Anton. Or Anton. Anton is Florence's older brother and is capital of the royal knight. Captain, not capital. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Anton is Florin's older brother and is captain of the Royal Knights. He's even more distant than Florin and looks scary, but he's a nice person. Kinda. People don't have to believe me when I say that, though. Are, are, you, are you in the middle of work or something? No, I, I was merely pressing by. Where's Florin? He's just, uh... Getting something from his room. He said he'd uh, he'd have be right back and stuff. I see. In that case, I will stay here until he comes back. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? Okay. Suit yourself. Do what you want to do. Anton is really careful and attentive. He's a little too serious, though. Maybe that's why people are intimidated by him. Some visitors of the castle see Anton. Is that is that the inf in infamous captain of Amarine's royal might? Shh, keep her voice down. Not that I've seen or heard about him ever being angry, but I mean, who wants to find out? You you get me? You get my drift? You picking up what I'm laying down? Poor Saps just can't 
You live to tell the tale. See those lighter streaks in his hair? I heard that his hair color used to be like pale like his younger brothers, but the blood of his enemies like dyed it red and stuff. <clears throat> I I think he's used to it. That and he doesn't care what others say. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about them. That's your natural hair color. Right, right? Indeed. I can't imagine where those rumors come from. Huh. Are, are you harsh with training the Royal Knights? Maybe that's part of the reason. Perhaps. But I would rather be known for those these rumors than be lenient. Now that I think about it, this might be the last time I see Anton. In a while, if everything goes well. We never really talk much, but... It still feels kind of lo 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 some Sorry. Hmm. We never really talked much, but it still feels kind of lonesome. Sometimes the king of Florin has traveled. Uh, the king has Florin. Not the king of Florin. What the fuck am I thinking? Sometimes the king has Florin travel outside of Amarine. It's a. It's to broaden his horizons or something. Weird how it's not the same for me. In those times, the king has Anton as my bodyguard instead. That started only a couple of years ago, though. I don't really remember interacting with Anton before that. I guess he was always busy with the Royal Knights or stuff. It... Oh, oh, bleh, bleh. Hell, ha, ha. Is everything going well with Florin? <laughs> of course! He's always been my knight, after all. He was really helpful with my studies and research recently. I see. That's good to hear, but it was rather careless for him to leave you alone right now. You worry too much. He probably just doesn't want to see me, me to see his room. Is that so? I don't know what he could possibly have in there worth hiding, except for porn. Tons of porn. Uh, no, no, you keep that on the computers, never mind. And, and what could he possibly re be retrieving? It isn't like him to be forgetful. <laughs> What, what could he be getting? I don't understand. Oh! Ha 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 ha! We were just planning plan us off. Ha ha ha! Please don't kill me. We were just planning on visiting Emery's town, so he's just making sure he has everything he needs. Ha ha ha! I see. As always, take care and stay close to Flora. And don't get too close to the borders. I know, I know, you worry too much, Anton. Remember that if you ever need anything, the Royal Knights are here for you. Although I would prefer it if you called on me, if possible. What? Oh, uh... I trust the members of the Royal Knights, but it would give me peace of mind nonetheless. Princess, is something the matter? Uh, oh, he didn't mean anything weird by it, of course. Why would he? He's a natural. No, it's nothing. It's nice that he's protective, but Anton is a little too cautious. He actually doesn't want me to travel outside the kingdom either. What are you asking the king for permission to leave the kingdom again? That's right. It didn't go too well, though. The king got mad at me again. How did you know, though? The king mentions it from mentions it to me from time to time. Uh, oh, really? That's a little embarrassing. I'm sure you've heard all about my failures to persuade him. Oh, Florin's back. Haha, <laughs> hi! Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, princess. And not at all. <laughs> uh, I will be taking my leave then. Anton leaves. Anton probably said something about me leaving you alone for a second, didn't he? Yeah, you know him too well. Uh, just that part of him. You two are the same as ever. <laughs> hmm, are you really okay with leaving, Florin? You might not see Anton for a while. Eh, it's fine. We aren't particularly close anyway. He has this accent, he does. I mean, I don't understand it. I'll be fine. Oh, 
Oh, I, I see. Well, we aren't on bad terms or anything. We're just uh, strained, I guess. I don't know. Because of our respective jobs, we don't spend much time around each other, thank God. We don't have much in common, I think. We don't look alike at all, either. Or talk alike or anything, really. Hmm, true. Off the top of my head, there are three similarities, though. First of all, both of you have such pretty hair. I've always been a little jealous. They do have fabulous fucking hair, dude. <laughs> uh, and you two have both have the same eye color. She, she noticed. And you're both really stubborn. Stubborn. Yep. That's not like when. Like when. Ugh. Am am I am I really? Well, well. In any case, make sure to get some rest during the day if you want to leave tonight. I know, but that means you have to rest too, you know. N no. Well, I can't do that. I'm your bodyguard. Hmm. True, but it doesn't feel right to rest while you can't. What if I? <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> what if I asked Anton to watch over the both of us while we take a nap? Princess. That would be... Uncomfortable for everyone. I'm kidding, of course. I don't think it'd be that bad, though. Remember back when we were kids? I stuck around you like my life depended on it. I think that's the point of being a bodyguard, but... Yeah, I remember. I was five and you were seven? It was kind of silly naming a seven-year-old a bodyguard, but that was the tradition. Either way, I'm glad it turned out this way. I'm really lucky to have you as my knight, Florin. Thanks for everything. I still can't believe you're agreeing to this. Yeah, well, like I said, I am your knight, after all. And the orders of a knight's master are law. I'm not ordering you, though. If you don't want to come, I'd just go by myself. Words from the master, words from the master, they're practically the same. Also, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just let you go on a reckless journey by yourself. It's not that reckless, I have a plan. You helped me make this plan for weeks. Besides, I thought you had insomnia in that path, huh? Hmm, pardon me. Besides, I thought you had insomnia, so you wouldn't sleep at night either way. You know what I mean. I know, I know, you're making me feel a little bad about bringing you along now. Yeah, but even if it weren't so... Huh? No, it, it, it's nothing. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, let's pick up ex a few extra things in town. I told Anton that's where we were going anyway. 